Not gonna lie, the last time I wore this much eyeliner, uh, MySpace was still around and I was taking pictures with the little Roar XD little selfies if anyone knows what i'm talking about but yeah today i'm just giving you guys a makeup tutorial on the whole early 2000s like a christina really dark eyes i kind of modernized it meaning that i didn't do like the weird skinny eyebrows and i didn't do like the whole lid but this is pretty much honestly a makeup tutorial of like how I did my makeup in middle school but it's early 2000s and there is gonna be a lookbook attached to this as well except that one's gonna probably come a little bit later it's not gonna come together like uploaded wise and everything but yeah that's pretty much it I'm not gonna ramble on too long for this intro I feel crazy right now cuz I'm sweating and I'm uncomfortable but it's okay if you guys want to know how I got this look then just keep watching Starting off this tutorial, okay, if you are someone that likes to moisturize your eyes before you start applying everything, which I feel like should be everyone, uh, you can't do that. You're gonna have to do that after just because this will literally get all over underneath your eyes, which is why we're just bare face right now. And I'm gonna be picking up the Feline. I think it's just like a regular coal liner. Is that what it's called? It's by MAC. And we're gonna start by kind of lining the inside of our eye and um i feel like this is probably the best liner to use i don't know about any like drugstore i know when i was like in high school like really early high school i used to use that green one i don't know what that one's called but i stopped using it because it would just for the fact that it did get everywhere and transfer really bad so i switched over to the mac one and yeah so if you guys have any like cheaper alternatives i know a lot of people are cruelty free if you have any of those suggestions just drop them down below but as far as black liner this is literally like the blackest of the black and it works so good when it comes to transferring down and all of that so we're just gonna be we're working it in and also like really get in on the inside right here because we really want everything to transfer. And as you can see, it's already starting to transfer down onto the waterline, which is what I like because I don't have to actually go back in on the bottom. Now this is the part that kind of scares me because this is such an intense eyeliner. You're gonna wanna put literally the smallest amount on the end and it doesn't have to be perfect, just maybe like a little bit thicker on the end. And I know I'm not supposed to be dragging out my eye like this because wrinkles or whatever, but um, I don't care. So uh, I'll pay for it later. I'm just going like kind of almost tapping as I go in the corner because it's gonna really start to smear. I'm not kidding. Like this liner smears so bad. Not smears, but is blendable. That's the right word. It's really blendable. So as you can see, I'm going like really thick on the outside. But as I go on the inside, I'm kind of just tapping and we're leaving it at that. That is like all that we're using like for the whole time of this black eyeliner. I promise you it literally goes like everywhere. The next thing I'm going to pick up is a Beach Cosmetics number 12 brush. Honestly, any like liner brush that you can apply liquid liner with will work. I'm going to start to blend it in to kind of smear it. So just like that, kind of almost winging it out, but not really, just so it starts creating that smudge effect and the same on the inside. Okay, honestly, I can't do this. I'm looking at such a far away mirror. I need like a really close up mirror. So I'm sorry that you might be able to see this and it might mess up the focus, but I'm just going kind of in like that. And don't worry if this starts getting really thin Thick because we're gonna kind of wipe it away after which kind of honestly defeats the purpose but I learned that trick from Jaclyn Hill and as pretty much all we're doing right now is just smearing the liner so we don't want any of the harsh lines it's okay if it looks messy the early 2000s was a messy time for everyone and as you can see it just kind of just looks smeared and if we're looking really edgy, that's what we want. Now I'm going to take like kind of a finger and I'm going to start to kind of smear it almost. So kind of pushing it up. I feel like everything we're doing right now is just so bad for our eye, but whatever. 
and I'm kind of using it and it kind of just does that smudge effect. Then taking a BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. This is kind of, I don't know what you would call this, maybe like a pencil brush, I'm not really sure. I'm going to use this to again smear it. So you could actually use this instead of your finger if you wanted to. And we're just kind of blending it up like at the corner right here. Just kind of making it go higher so it kind of looks like there's eyeshadow. You can also use eyeshadow to set this if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I did last time, but I feel like it's just going to be too much. And if you have created this type of like smear effect, then it's pretty much done. But not quite yet. I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to kind of erase like the whole inner circle. Just like that. We're going to take away the darkness of it, kind of brush it out, and then going back in with like your pinky or whatever, we're going to smear it back in, and it kind of dulls down the crazy. I honestly look crazy. This is why we did not put the eye cream underneath. And yeah, not going to lie, the top is pretty much done. Now, because it's, this is literally crucial, you're going to want to take a cotton swab and some micellar water or just like a makeup removing wipe. It's okay. We can use either or and we're going to wipe the underneath of our eye. Honestly, the only reason why I feel like this really happened is because I use my finger and I'm just like pressing down so much. So don't worry if you want to be extra gentle, just use a brush. I am just, just don't really care. I can just wipe it all away like this. And you know, where it's like all clean. And as you can see, it's already started. We didn't even have to do any of the work underneath. They did it all for us. And make sure that you really take away everything on the under eye because now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and my concealer and honestly even my eyebrows. It's just everything that I can now do. And then we'll start going in with the under eyes and the mascara and all of that. So I have done my face. I also am looking at the view monitor and I'm realizing that I look really washed out. So can't really fix it now. So I'm so sorry if it just, I look like a ghost, but it's okay. We're just gonna move on. On to the under eyes honestly I almost want to leave them like this but we have to go a little bit more dramatic a little bit darker kind of like how I did the other day in that picture I mean I'll post it up for you guys so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about but now I'm just gonna go in and use my dirty ass Jaclyn Hill palette that I just use as a powder board and I'm gonna go in with the black shade I just honestly love the black shade that is in here you can use anyone just be really careful because we don't want none of that fallout I would almost recommend like baking underneath your eyes and leaving just a tiny bit of room just in case if you do have a bunch of fallout it's not gonna mess anything up but I'm gonna go in with that same pencil brush that we use to kind of smoke everything out and I'm gonna just like barely dab into it now let's see I don't uh, I don't know how intense I want it I'm just gonna kind of start to press right underneath just a little bit like honestly barely just enough to give it a little bit dimension so it doesn't look like there's just eyeliner like can you see that is it showing up i'm not sure i'm gonna have to check but i'm gonna kind of be like pulling it all the way in and the more in i go I'm, i think i'm gonna stop like probably midway so if you can see that let me just like zoom in if you can see like compared to this to that we're just gonna stop probably like right there and then I'm gonna actually start to smoke it out so it doesn't look so intense and that's it that's literally all we're doing underneath the eye and I'm gonna repeat on the other side we're gonna go now where is it the little ballpoint uh, BH Cosmetics brush that we used in the beginning and I just dropped that all over myself I'm gonna start to smoke it out now if you want if you're like too scared of black you can honestly go in with like a little bit of a red like the tiniest red so it's not just smoking out black if you want this to be a little bit more glam and not so grungy but I'm trying to go full-blown early 2000s and I'm not touching anything I want this to look really tacky so pretty much just blend until it doesn't look so harsh and I'm gonna kind of do it at the top as well just so it matches I'm just gonna go in at the top and it's okay if it transfers like on this eye i have stuff transferred right here that's totally fine in the early 2000s honestly it was so messed up people were literally just doing black 
I did that literally all the time in middle school. That was like my signature look was just black eyeshadow. Now for the lashes, I'm gonna be using the Pro Beauty Lash Essentials. This is just a new box just to show you guys exactly what I'm using. I you kind of like cut them in half to this length right here and everyone literally always asks me what eyelashes I'm wearing. It's these, if you can see like how much I've cut them, if that's doing anything. I just love these because it kind of gives it that natural like eyelash extension look. So I'm gonna prop these on and then I'll be right back. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys like the difference that it makes. Hopefully it's like popping up. This is honestly the worst angle, but as you can see, like it just nicely blends with everything. And yeah, that's like the difference if you wanna look like down the lower lash line or whatever. But that is the difference that it makes. Like it just kind of like brings it out just a little bit versus here it just looks more like droopy. This kind of like brings my eye up. Now that we're looking a little bit emo, we're gonna tone down the lip a little bit. Now you can go with like a nice pink lip gloss. I feel like that will be really pretty, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with the NYX lingerie in a ruffle trim. This is honestly like th the same color as my lip. It's just kind of intensifying it and uh, I'm just going to put it all over. I mean, you guys don't really need to know how I put my <laughs> lip stick on. I didn't line my lips or anything like that. I kind of just swooped it over. As you can see, it didn't really change that much, but we are gonna use the Fenty lip gloss. I'm not kidding, this is literally my favorite lip gloss in the world. And it's just kind of pretty much intensify the color. You have to have lip gloss on for an early 2000s look. I do not care. When I was little and like in ele elementary school, I would dead ass set my alarm for 1 a.m. just so I could watch the freaking music videos that came on MTV. And it was always Soldier Boy and Lil Mama lip gloss. Like it was the top two videos I would always play. Now this I'm just gonna do a little bit extra just because why not. I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown highlighting powder and bronze glow and I'm just gonna kind of highlight my sh shoulders and all of that. I really don't think it's gonna show on camera like at all but we want to like glow and be really freaking bronzy for this look so we're just gonna go the extra mile of like Christina Aguilera. We just want to look wet and honestly this freaking highlighter is perfect because it just makes your skin look freaking wet and it's uh well at least on mine i feel like if you have a really nice tan it does but yeah we're just gonna go in you can just put it everywhere and then i did put this all over my face as well not all over but like as my highlighter and stuff i also just realized that we did not highlight the inner tear duct and i really wanted to do that so i'm gonna actually go in with this same one and i'm gonna use to be honest i'm just gonna use the black one that we used to smudge it out hopefully it's not gonna do anything but i'm just gonna really pack it on the brush and we're gonna pat it on the inside now for the hair this is probably like my favorite thing ever as you guys know i love dyeing my hair all you're gonna need is just some extensions don't mind these these crusty ass ones these are like my old pink ones i since my hair is so black i'm gonna do the whole blonde streaky extensions like blonde i mean not extensions highlights if you have blonde hair just get black ones and it'll work just the same you could do the whole christina this is kind of like a reverse christina and what i'm gonna do is just section off my hair like if i were to do the lower part of my um what's it called hair if i was gonna i don't know strain it or something like very thin so i'm just gonna kind of quickly take it out and leave probably like maybe like this much hair and once we have like no hair i'm gonna go ahead and take these extensions and i'm gonna put it underneath obviously that's what we're gonna do and these are just clip ones i got these from sally's and these i think are the 18 inch ones but i've had them for so long that they're probably like no longer 18 inches anymore. They're like shed probably. And I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, it probably looks a little crazy right now, but that's okay. We're gonna go like that and we're gonna brush it through like this. And I'm gonna put some more in. And then I will still stick it usually underneath. I'm honestly not kidding. There's no technique to this. I'm doing this so sloppy because if I try to make it look perfect, it's gonna look like I have extensions in. And I can't tell you how many people thought that it was my real hair. They were like, oh my God, I'm so glad you left the blonde in. And I was like, nope, I didn't. These are just extensions. And yeah, we're just gonna keep it like that. And then we're gonna do the other side. I think last time when I took the picture, I'll prop it up. I actually only had two in this time I have three in and again it just goes along with how well my hair is playing with me that day and I'm just gonna clip them in 
Again, don't really care if they're gonna show or not because the bun is gonna be covering it. So I'm kind of just placing them randomly in my hair. And then we're gonna brush it out like this. So I ended up just tying my hair back into like a little ponytail. I don't know if you can see the scrunchie. And I honestly didn't curl or do anything to my hair. At first I was going to to kind of blend the extensions in a little bit more because honestly like let's be real you can kind of see that I'm wearing it. Um, last time I put them in you couldn't really tell but because I didn't really touch and I just snapped them in it's just kind of like a quick fix. I like it more when it's like straight not really curled because I feel like then it really gives off that whole like straight Christina vibes like early 2000s. And and yeah, that is pretty much it for this entire video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all of that, and keep a lookout for the lookbook portion of this.